Hi, welcome back. I'm Brainer, and today we are continuing Mutation, and we are in Chapter One: The Arrival. We've uh, already had a little taster of the drama that we got dropped into, and uh, it's time to explore more of this world and get to know all of its residents within and our family. It's now midday. Um, we spoke to what's her name again? Mori. Hmm, you're the spit of Gaia, you know. Of course I'm only good. Of course I'm only going on photos. Your mother was whisked away from us so young. Hmm. Mm, I'm not sure whisked is quite right. Oh, but it was such a lovely summer. Claire and Gaia were instant friends. Getting up to all kinds of mischief together. But you're here now. Time to look f to the future. Not the past. Alright, well. Good for you, I guess, Rooney. Um, we can go that way. Can only go that way. Alright, let's go. Now let's check my notebook. What do I need to do? Aelin by the bathhouse. Aelin seemed nice. Having Grob's baby though. Wonder what she sees in him. Grandma told me that Yoke... Uh, to f told me to find Yoke in the archive. Apparently he has something for me. It's a pretty cool old book. There's so much stuff in it. Wonder what all these symbols mean. Mom's old friend Claire is here somewhere. I should find her. Oh my god. I cannot deal with tears. I hope she's okay. Hmm. Travel to Mutation. My grandpa for the first- meet my grandpa for the first time. God, <laughs> please help me. I need to read so much in this game and I am struggling. Come on, brain. I don't know what I was expecting, but he looked really ill. Guess I should go meet some of the others while he rests. Right. Tongue said people hang out in the bar, so we're going to the bar, I guess. Let's talk to this dude real quick. Bibbidi boo, bibbidi boo. Oh! Uh, are you here to hear my fish cake song? It's very famous. Ah, uh, catchy. <laughs> catchy, catchy. Catchy the fishies. I'm glad you like my song. Hmm, Spike does not. Spike went into the bar over there to uh, get away from my darn nuisance. Well, I like it a lot. You can be my friend as well, Spike. The song catches friends as well. Aww, he's so cute. Right, uh, the bar. I'm guessing this is the bear. Yes, Spike's bar. Oh. So he wasn't really getting away from... What time is it? Oh. Well now. How's it going, Jitterbug? Kai, right? Is there anyone who doesn't know I'm arriving today? Oh, 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 the locals bending your ear, are they? Spike, you're not helping. Well now, we can hold Stum if you want. Mew here's a specialist in quiet. That's how she brings in all the prime meat. Hunting. Uh, I'll talk to Mew first. You hunt? Cool. Sure. Mew's our resident hunter and punk rocker. Spike. Oh, you're going to tell me it's not punk rock, it's sludge core or something? Spike. Okay. <laughs> Whenever I hear people talk about music genres, I feel like an idiot. Same, because I don't really care for genres, so I never clock which genre I'm listening to. I just like it or it owns. Um... Uh... Well, thanks for the introduction. You let me know if you need anything, okay? 
If you can't tell from my manner of speaking, I wasn't out of town or just like you. It was 20 years ago I landed on these peculiar shores. And I still sometimes feel like a newcomer. Same in the UK. Also 20 years. Can be a mite overwhelming. But we're all friendly folk. Yes, I think you'll get along mighty fine here. Mighty fine. <laughs> uh, it's afternoon already. We've been here the entire time. Can we go upstairs? Can we look at this? Seems like there's a lot going on. Alright. Hey there, Jitterbug. Um... Is that some kind of insect? A kind of dance from the olden days. I'm sorry if it's a bit familiar. It's a habit. I used to travel a lot. It was a way of trying to make friends. <laughs> so... As long as I can call you Spiky Wikey. Huh. <laughs> you remind me of my Mew. Same spiky sense of humor. She's gone home for a catnap right now. Anyway, gotta be getting up with smarting the place up ahead of this evening. Make sure you poop along later. Did I say poop along? I meant to say pop along. Or poop along, you know, if you need to poop, that's good too. Sometimes we all need to poop. Um, bird? Oh, Claire's okay again. Let's talk to Claire. Kai, thanks so much for coming back. I'm okay now. It was a bit much, that's all. But I just wanted to say you're so welcome. Thanks. Let me show you my shop. I've got all kinds of things here. Fruit, vegetables, meat, fabric, furniture, pearls, cutlery. Is it expensive stuff? We trade in goods, not money. Everyone puts things in and everyone takes them out. It's more of a central store, I guess. But you won't need anything while you're here. Everyone will be queuing up to give you what you need. Mm, is it really rare to have visitors? The last visitor we had was Spike. Oh, well, maybe Growbirds. But he comes and goes so much. Spike arrived here when I was a teenager. He was such a mysterious stranger. He runs the bar over there now. Uh, anyway. Cool, so the shop is for trade. Really, it's just a way to pool our resources. And I keep the inventory. I'm very good at math. Speaking of which, can you do me a favor and go tell... Go tell... Jelly their order is in? I've got some potash. Or potash. Uh, who now? <laughs> Where should I go? I head down deep into the cave. Jelly lives right at the bottom. They're a resident chemist. The potash is for soap, you see. Don't be scared by the, uh, don't be scared by their um, appearance. <laughs> Jelly is completely lovely. Yoke tried to explain it to me once. I think they came from a different process than like humanoid mutations. But anyway, okay, sure. Can we talk to Tong? I like tongue. <laughs> that sounded dodgy. Tongue tongue? Tongue my boy, where are you? Where are you? I, uh... I hear chickens. Chickens! Can we touch the chickens? <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Weird. This is half buried. Can we not go in? What's at the end? What's in this hole? Hey, there was a... Ah, oh, yeah. Weird seeing stuff from before the meteor. Is this a highway? Is 
that what I told you it was? A meteor? I can't look at this? Okay, what about this? No? Okay. It's nice though. Yeah, all the ruins and stuff. It's really interesting. <laughs> Alright, the caves. I think I saw where the caves were. Right here, yeah. Oh, the little guys are gone. Oh! Why do I have an urge to hit these big old pipes with a hammer? Oh, look at this dude. Are we not gonna look at him? Alright, let's talk to you then. Are you... No, that's Dennis. I don't know, sweet thing. The readings just won't improve. That's why I've not been able to spend so much time with you and your pipe. It's the bedrock of a whole ecosystem. But I'll make it up to you, I promise. I'll bring you some nice crispy blue bugs to treat. How about that? Sweet thing? Please talk to me. <laughs> okay, Dennis. Okay, I need to remember voices for people. I I forget so quick. Because I don't play these all in one go, which is my fault, I know. Whoa, these roots go on forever. They do. Hello. I'm just saying. You're always just saying. There's a market opportunity out there. The metrics are dire. Perhaps if we need, uh, we need a new productivity matrix. Hi, I'm Kai. Mm, maybe if we need to update our matrix. A uh, metrics, I mean. What's a market opportunity? Gap in the market. Market. Mm. Hello. <laughs> Grab's currently got a monopoly on fair crossings, but he doesn't have to. That's a market opportunity. Could be. <laughs> if we actually live in a market economy. That settles it. Let's reform it both the matrix and the metrics. <laughs> I thought it read both. I was like losing my mind. I guess you don't want to talk to me. That's alright, they're boring as fuck. Let's go. Little worms. Where's my dude? Where's my dude at? Oh, can I grab these? Ooh, lumen hat spore. My lord. Stish. Oh, cool. It's like an extractor on a cooker, but for science. This story feels weirdly organic. Oh, it's vaguely coming back to me. Wow, check out this purple crystal. Crystals are pretty nifty. Oh, this is him. That's right. Hey. You good? Second generation biological outcome. Ah! Yes, I'm rather impressive. Although less optimal at the present time. Mm, less than optimal? I have to acquire my nutrition from the earth. I must spend part of each day recharging as you might uh, when you sleep or eat. However, for some time, the quality of the soil and our biome has been degrading. Mm, offer help? Can I help? I need means of supplementing my nutrition. Hold on. Supplements. I do not fully ascertain your meaning. Mm, take action. Here, my mom makes me take them everywhere. Vitamin pill. Intriguing. 
It says parental care includes the supplementation of organic compounds required for normal growth and nutrition. Gratitude. <laughs> You're welcome, Jelly. Oh! And Claire has some uh, potash for, for you. Uh, I was supposed to tell you. Understood. I will now assimilate these resources. Okay. He is assimilating. He's cool though. I totally forgot about him. I can't believe how much I've forgotten about this game. Big enough to crawl through, but way too filthy to try. Alright. There's not a hole there. I'm not talking to you a lot. <laughs> I want to talk to this dude. Mm, let's see. Give potash message the cave person, aka jelly. Is it weird to really like the jelly person? I really like the jelly person. I can't work out if they're a mutant or what though. Seems different to the others. Again, probably best not to ask. I got off on the wrong foot with tongue. I should go find him. Maybe he's in the yard behind the harbor. I I was uh, he, I was trying to find him. Tong tong. Tong tong. Oh, I can go that way. I see. There he is. Tong. Oh, what am I doing? Can I talk to him? Hello. <laughs> this thing has seen better days. Oh, oh, hey. <laughs> nice to see you're not wielding any boxes. Uh, are you kidding or are you actually annoyed? Kidding? Oh. Maybe it was weird to ask. I'm just pretty terrible at reading people, I guess. Uh, sorry, start over? Oh, okay, sure. So, uh... This is my boat. <laughs> Looks very boaty. I figure I could do with a ticket to freedom. It's nice here in theory. But... Uh, it's also just jungle and family. You gotta find places to make your own, right? Yes, exactly that. Mm, so, you were brought up by your mom? Not always. I mean, I've had to bring myself up a bit. It's just me, my little brother Toby, and her now. But it's only been like that for a couple of years. What happened to your... There was an accident. My dad left. I know it's bad, but um, sometimes I think I feel better if he'd... If he died, it would have felt like it was our fault. Can't say I recommend it. This boat was my dad's. He had a proper boat too. That's what he left on. Used to call this his little runabout. Well, it's yours now. Yeah. It's mine now. Time to work out what I want it to be. Oh, nice. Alright, music. Can I look around? Do I have to go around the boat that way? Anybody out here? Just some chickens. 
I like it to see the seagull is gone now. Oh, water level. That's a nice photo. Hmm. Let's go back. I'm guessing everybody's at the bar. I vaguely remember what happens there. So pretty. All the little lights and everything. I should check on Grandpa first, actually. See if he's okay. Granddad? You okay? Oh, Guy! You were in my dream. You were out east by the temple. And a great bird picked you up and carried you away. I tried to shout, but you were... You climbed up into its wings. And you flew it back down to safety. I first met Manny at the temple. I learned so much there. Who's money? One of those dreams that is so vivid you can feel the starlight on your skin. <laughs> I'm dying, Kai. Sorry, what? <laughs> Don't say that. I know you know this theoretically, but you need to understand it actually. But I know, I know, I know. I didn't ask for you to watch me die, but it is happening. It is something I have come to accept. You must too. That way we will not waste time. I want to get to know you. And I also want you to get to know the people who are a part of me. <laughs> <laughs> to know them is also to know me. Okay. So, okay. Uh, you're dying. So what? We can still have a good time? I'll do what you say. When you're tired, I'll explore and meet people. And I'll hang out when you feel up to it. Deal? Deal? Deal! I feel privileged to have you for company on my last great adventure. What's next? That dream. I wonder if you could go to the temple and see if there are any flowers you could bring back for me. I miss the outdoors. Okay, we're going to the temple, right? Visit the temp out east, maybe get some flowers or something. Hmm, I should go see what Grandpa is doing. Grandpa looked awful. Ugh, what am I supposed to do? Maybe I should go check on this temple he was talking about, bring him back some flowers. And then Tongue. That was a pretty broken looking boat. But what do I know about boats? Tongue's cool. Kind of mopey though, I don't know. Maybe I see mopey too. Probably. Alright, temple. Temple time. Surely temple time. Let's go this way. Um, this way? It's nice and quiet now, though. Go on. Peaceful. Go on. Temple. Let's go. 
I think we're gonna see that crow creature again. Oh, yeah, there he is. Just as I said it. I've been waiting for you, Kai. Ah! You and I, we know each other quite well. You're not real. You know me. I'm not gonna say it. We've met many times, you know this. Huh. In dreams? You will make me prove it to you. So be it. I recall a heavy day just on the edge of autumn. Walking home from school, there was a gust of wind that felt blown from another continent. You saw, borne upon it, a wisp flower seed which floated to the earth like a snowflake. You caught it, saw its strange shimmer. You planted it in the little dirt pile by a window. And it grew into a plant that you swore sang a song just for you. No one else heard it. True, Kai. True. But how? You know me. Now listen. The old man is dying. His pride has poisoned him. But there is a solution. Drakina leaves. It is the only chance he has to hold on. You will find the white leaf of Drakina next to the temple garden. Hm. Why should I trust you? No more denying! You must get him Drakina leaves from the temple garden. Seven gardens, mood is sung, papu flowers for the fun, you see. What? That barely makes sense. Not everything can be easy. Use your brain, your ears, your eyes and your hands. Now the Drakina leaves. Take them to him, Kai. Go. Um, what are these? Oh, fern seed. Okay, I thought I needed uh, flowers from here, but can I go out? Drakina leaves. Drakina leaves. Drak. Drak. Drakina leaves. Drakina. 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 Creepy. Tricky Bacabina. Drakina leaf. Drakina seed. Wasn't there something wrong with those though? Okay, nothing else. Alright, back we go. Alright, I'm gonna check my journal. Birdman is real? I know this place is supposed to be weird, but I can't tell anyone. Can I? Maybe Yoke would know something. I could ask him, like, how big birds get around here? Or about that weird poem? Creepy Birdman says I have to get something called Drakina from outside the temple and give it to Grandpa. Yeah, but let's look up. Uh, Drakina. Okay. Can I hold it down? No. Oh my god. Oh, there it was. Drakina. Drakina is a leafy flowering plant from the palm family, reaching up to 10 meters tall. Locals avoid the plant, saying that it had somehow made the surrounding area feel uncanny. The leaves can be ingested, but can have radical effects, sometimes giving a dying creature a new lease of life, and sometimes proving almost immediately fatal. Needs further investigation. Hmm. So maybe not give that to Granddad, huh? Can I go to you okay? Or is he sleeping? No, he's there. You okay? You okay? I'm currently transcribing some records which were corrupted in some recent flooding. It's root stuff. 
what is road stuff? You don't know, but you'll probably maybe look it up on Google or whatnot and um, figure something out. But you never know what will be valuable to future academics. Yoki, okay. do you have a giant bird simutacio? Let's see. Well, I believe the largest bird native to the area is the common Mutasian bitten. It can be de it can develop a wingspan as large as 1.25 meters. So not two meters tall. Hi, my dear. Is everything okay? <laughs> it's hard for me to see in this dim light, but you seem a little pale. Mm, I think I'm kind of going crazy. I don't know if I'm tired or what, but I was just by the temple and I don't know. The temple is a strange place and unusual too, <laughs> but I'm certain you're not going crazy. And even if you were, that would be okay. We would look after you. Oh, but it sounds to me as though you are a little overwhelmed. Just take a deep breath and get an early night if you can. A little sleep, and I am certain things will be seem brighter in the morn. <sighs> I have to stay up to call my mom. But thanks. Hmm. So, does she work night shifts then? So, where do I call? Was it the... Their phone up in Granddad's. Granddad. No, he's still coughing. Oh, Kai, I'm sorry. I'm still feeling weak. Hmm. I I have something for you. Hmm. Kai! Do you know what this is? Promise me you didn't eat any of this! Promise me! Don't shout! <laughs> of course I didn't! They're leaves! Forgive me! This is an extraordinarily dangerous substance if ingested. What are you doing? They're also a potentially life-saving substance. <laughs> Did I just kill you? I was dying anyway. Drakina is a drastic option. One I was too weak to trust in. Until you showed me what I needed to do. I need... to... Grandpa? Grandpa, don't die! Okay, not dead. This is even more stressful than looking after a toddler. Okay, now what? Do I need to call mom? I said I call mom tonight. She'll be back about now. I think there's a phone in the bar. Yeah, that's what I remembered. I remember them falling out at some point as well. What's with the music? What's that music about? That's extreme. Is the bar this way? I can't remember. No, bar is here. Go then. Oh, tongue. I'll, I'll talk to you when I'm done, okay? No, I need to do this. There you go. Hello? <clears throat> Mom! Darling, it's good to hear you. How was the trip over? <laughs> the captain's right there. It was... okay. 
Are you getting to know people? People have been nice. Are you sure? Everyone's being really nice. And Grandpa is... I guess it's a bit, um, scary. Don't be afraid to ask for help, sweetie. I'm sure I can't... I'm sorry I can't be there. It's just... Stop it! Ugh. Toby's eating toothpaste again. No, give it here. Do you remember you okay? Of course. I mean, it was a long time ago, but... He gave me this really beautiful encyclopedia. Wow! Yoke was always so precious about his books. That's a real honor. What's he like? It's full of loads of info about local uh, plants and stuff. I'm sure Grandpa will tell you more about it all when he feels better. Are you feeling okay otherwise though? What if he dies? Oh, honey. Grandpa Nono is very ill. And sometimes, sometimes we can't help people get better. But whatever happens, we can be there. Be with them. Just make sure you look after yourself as well, okay? Maybe even have a little fun? I'll try. I wish you could have come with me. Oh, love. I know. I just... <sighs> it's complicated. Nana was so angry at him. I'm not ready yet. But I know everyone there will take wonderful care of you. But... Toby, no! Ugh, crayons on the wall. Sorry, honey, I have to go. But call... But call like we said, okay? Thursday and Sunday evening. Love you. Okay, love you. Speak soon. Sad times. Well, now that was a bit of an evening. Let's get home now, though. Out of the rain. As soon as you're under Papu's canopy, you'll be okay. Oh yeah, Papu is the um, the tree. I forgot. All right, let's go home then. Did I see something? Oh yeah, there's a little creature. <laughs> Cute. Let's go home and sleep. Exhausted. Time for bed. Yeah. Right. I'm going to end the episode there. That was great. That was a really lovely one. I like that. Uh, oh, Granddad is looking better though. So there's no cliffhanger for you there. He's smiling and at the table. Excellent. Well, we can start the next episode with a more positive start, I guess. Thank you so much for joining me as always, and I will see you when I see you. Mm.